Congratulations, you just sold your lesson plans. Now what? How do you deliver your product? While there might be many ways to do this, today we're going to go over one specific way, and that is how to deliver your lesson plans after purchase using the ClickFunnels members area. I've already mentioned that I'm a ClickFunnels fan, so let's make sure that you get the most out of your subscription by using it to also deliver your products after purchase. Hey, welcome back to Sell Your Lessons. I'm Jesse, your digital marketing and tech coach, and today we're going to get a little bit techy. We're going to talk about how to deliver your product after purchase using a ClickFunnels members area. Everything from setup to the tech of it all. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen and let's jump right in. Okay, so here I am in my ClickFunnels account, and I'm just going to go up to add new for a funnel. And I'm going to go ahead, you could use the cookbook or the classic funnel builder, doesn't matter which one, I'm just going to click create a new funnel here, and then um, I'm just going to create a custom funnel. I always enjoy creating custom, um, but, it, but you can certainly go through things like the cookbook and grab the templates that way. But I am going to show you how to use templates as well. Okay, so this is the cellular lesson product delivery okay so you would say this was whatever membership area or anything like that our first page is we're going to go over here to the membership and go down to membership access we have to have a place that people can log in and then the actual membership area so first we have the membership access and they have a few templates right here that you can just kind of choose which one you want to go with uh, Personally, I enjoy going with something very simple because that way I can come in later and design around it. So we have the membership access, and then I'm going to add um, the membership area. And again, I'm going to go up to membership, only this time I want a membership area page type. And again, I'm given different options and I can just choose whichever one I like. Okay, so for a moment, I'm going to go back to the membership access and I'm going to edit the page. And this goes, this, you know, allows me to go ahead and design this page however I would design it and then be sure to save. You wanna make sure that you have this, the login element. So the user login element. You wanna make sure you have that. I didn't do anything. So go ahead and design that the way you'd like. And then the membership area is kinda of tricky. Down here is where you have your different sections and then your actual lessons. So I'm gonna add a new lesson section. I'm gonna call this section two. And then one tip that I have is I would go ahead and design this first lesson and then as it's exactly as you want it, then you can just simply duplicate it and you would open the editor and make your adjustments each time. So this would be coming in here and you know, this is, you know, number two. And then I would come in here and adjust the name and I can change the section as well. I think this is working a little slow just because I'm trying to record while doing all this work. Let me refresh the page, there it goes. Okay, so this is like the actual content, but if I go into the editor, this is where we're going to actually design the shell of the page. So this whole thing is the shell, and what we were just working on with the lessons and the lesson sections, the lessons are going to be here. This right here, this whole thing in the orange is just a placeholder. So if I actually preview, what we had for the first le lesson in the first section is right here. And the second section's here and the second lesson here. You can see that changed to how to be awesome too. So whatever you put in your lessons, it is put right in here in this shell. So you would go ahead and design this 
and then you put the content in almost these little bubbles here to see this is just what was inside the shell. So that's kind of how that works. Now the thing about ClickFunnels membership areas is it's more of a content organization rather than a storage place. So you actually have to have your items stored somewhere else. So whether those are videos or PDFs or whatever it is that they're going to download, you have to actually have them stored somewhere else. So for example, let's say that I wanted to add an element here and I wanted to add a video. Okay, so I could have a video in here. Take away the margin. So as you can see, when I click, there are different options here. So if I have my video, say, unlisted on YouTube, I can click that and just put the URL right here. Or if I have um, my videos housed on places like Vimeo or Wistia, then I can just put those links there as well. I like to use YouTube just because it's free. It's a great way to start out. But if you plan on having a lot of resources online, you might consider moving to something like Vimeo or Wistia, different paid platforms, because they give you a little more control over your content. Okay, and then when it comes to the buttons, you want to set the action, and you just go ahead and delete that little hashtag and put the URL right here. So if I were using, for example, um, this Google Doc, I can click Share. Okay and I can get the shareable link. And if you want them to be able to make a copy themselves, then you can say view. You don't want them to edit this because you don't want them to mess with your template. So you wanna leave it on view and copy this link. And then you can go ahead and paste that link right in here. Now, one hack that I've seen is that if you change the word edit to copy, when someone clicks on that button, it, Google will automatically ask them if they'd like to make a copy and where they'd like to make a copy if they log into their uh, Google account. And then for Dropbox, you have your PDF or whatever file it is. Uh, one thing I always recommend is coming over here and disabling the comments. So I would go over to the little dots and disable. I've already done that on this, but you would disable. And then to share, I would simply, let's see if I open this, if I click share, I can create a link. And again, I would say that anyone with this link can view, and then they'll be able to download it from there. So you can go ahead and click view and then uh, copy the link and pop that in here as well. Now, one thing I like with Dropbox is if you change the zero to a one, when they click the button, it will automatically download it to their computer and they'll actually never really know it was on Dropbox because they never have to go to Dropbox. If I left that as a zero, they would click the button and one other thing I would like to do is always open in a new tab window so they can keep the membership area open and then this would open up in a new tab. And if I left it as a zero, it would open up in a new tab, but they would see that it was Dropbox and they'd have to, you know, download from there. It's extra steps. If they're just going to download it, now if you have an entire folder that you're sharing, that makes sense. But if you're just sharing one item like this, one document, then I would change that zero at the very end to a one, and when they click, it automatically downloads it to their computer. There is a way to do that with uh, Google Docs as well. It's just not as easy, and I believe it only works on things like PDFs. Okay, so one last piece that I wanna go over here, so always be sure to save your work, you get out of here. The last thing is restricting your content. So if somebody, there are a few different links here. The secret signup URL is what you share with people to create an account to your membership area. And once they've created an account, this login URL, this is the link they would use to actually sign in. They can also, whatever link you have here on, on the, the, this would be the membership access page. Okay. 
whatever link you have here on the member access page, they could use that as well. Either one of those goes to the login page, but they must already have an account. So that's what the secret signup URL is for to create an account. But the thing is, is currently anybody could use this link, create an account, and when they get in, they're going to see everything. But let's say that you have a whole bunch of different products in this members area. You only want the people that purchased certain things to see what they purchased. You don't want them to get everything. So that's what this restrict access button is. You can restrict access on the different sections. So you would just click that and then you're able to search whatever product it was and only people who purchased any of you know these products, for example, anybody who purchased test product one or test product two can see this section. Nobody else can. And if you have the uh, larger version of ClickFunnels, you can also use tags. So you can say when someone purchases, they get a tag, and then you can also restrict by tag update. So now only people who have purchased test product one or test product two get the first section. And if I change this, now only people who purchased test product one get the second section. So if someone purchased test product one, they see everything. And if they purchase test product two, they only get to see the first section. That's kind of how that works. So those are kind of your steps. Step one is going to be to set up your membership access and area pages, and then go ahead and design those. Step two is to find and store your materials in other places, if they're videos, places like YouTube, if they're PDFs or other documents, places like Google Drive or Dropbox. Grab those links and add them to the members area. So you're going to add your content. And then step three, restrict the access. So only people who purchased can see certain sections of your members area. Like I said, this is just one method to deliver your product after purchase. So what's your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. If you're enjoying this content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you can join us every Tuesday when we put out new content. Until then, don't forget to check out some of the other videos on the channel and I cannot wait to see you there. Bye.